Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin. A villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some. Join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen. If you dig too deep. We have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. Duh, can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings! She can't understand a word I'm saying! Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. Must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... slow. Oh boy. <laughs> Learn to have a better poker face, sweetheart. Don't let him see your fear. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? Biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. Oh, sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. Going. Dismantling the tower!
far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? D do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you walking carpet. <laughs> Eat yourself! You, uh, okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps, no sense of humor. Terrible conversationalist. <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? The problem's not the llama. <laughs> yeah, this llama is cute as the dickens. Especially, you know, their, their little outfit. It's just cute, you know, I... Oh, <laughs> sorry, I just... I miss Nurm so freaking much. <laughs> sorry, Luna. We will get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your, your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. 
What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you, your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my, my town, my friends. I want my life back, and Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Never say no to a little gunpowder. Red keep, here we come. Uh, Jesse? Oh no, who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. No! It's okay, we're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA Trouble! Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kind of sulfury. Don't think that's a word. Magmatastic? Asa got your little slimy tongue. What are you hiding? Admin must not care about them too much. Otherwise, you'd be popping in to save them, right? Good point. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems 
like a lot of work getting down there, pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. So tired. You make a compelling argument. What? You wouldn't understand. Listen, folks, down here we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. Unlike the Eagles there, I can do this all day. Or night, I suppose. Kind of the same thing down here. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies. World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. Jack, Jesse! to tell ya. Oh, move out, ya stink bags! Jack! want us to keep going. That's exactly what he would have wanted. <laughs> Past tense. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? <laughs> She's a treasure sniffing llama, right? Treasure sniffing, not jack sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well-armed and... Now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? 
Silly, they're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Oh man, I love trivia. You do? Yes, it's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. There you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means but he had one point of excess, his favorite tool. What was it? 
a diamond hole. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. <laughs> what was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. I love them. Thank you. Jesse, I hope you find what you're looking for. Huh, kind of cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Secret room. There's got to be something down here. This one is called the Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. Th this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something.
Binta. Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well, before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. Oh? Fred mentioned a cabin where he, Zara, and Romeo lived. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now, he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. The problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. Of course, but... I don't want to get your hopes up. We're not 100% sure our way will work yet. Thank you. A chance is something more than we have now. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey, give that back! <laughs> Ugh, thanks.
Yes. Only one person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor? <clears throat> yes. It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm gonna need you now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner. Nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Oh, uh, sorry, Ivor. Just something about your face makes me think punchy thoughts. Don't worry. People tell me the same thing. I, uh... I see. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Uh, right! Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin, Taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did at first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, aka the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja's senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out, because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Wait, 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 wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Tell him that I escaped, but that you tracked me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure you'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final, desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that. Right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nuh-uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Right to that building. Oh, good. 
only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along, and don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you! Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army! I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army, we can take it! You are... not leaving. Oh, you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Did you not hear me? I said bring it on. I'm ready to fight this army of yours. Oh, oh, and they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But uh, they're still getting ready and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> All right, we we don't have an army, exactly. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open! The gate! On it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh huh. You've got a pet llama, too. Yeah, she's my pet. We've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> this place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. I think 
organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Spider puzzle. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Waterfall! Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. It's mining time. making it to stage 600. Three levers got us into this, so... So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Break the machine, I'll cover you. On it!
crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water too. Radar and I will be the base. We're fine. Line them down to size. Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks, quickly. even keep asking. Take a look around. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe ish. Get that weapon and get out of here. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh huh. Remember, I used to read all the time. Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <gasps> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Just ugh, gets me every time. Let's hear it then. I want to hear the story. Um, so, yeah, there there was this puppy named, uh, Pendergast, and she, uh, fell into a 
Ah, th there is no puppy. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you, it, it's not important. We have bigger things to worry about right now. I get that. It's fine. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. I'm okay. Really. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Purple for Zara. Blue for Fred. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just... Potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend, always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them, too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but 
Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together, more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how friendship is my thing. But I don't think I can just stay put, you know? In Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You're my best friend, Jesse. I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. There are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But... Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you once. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong.
thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Get out of its way! It's the Fred folk! Those are not the people from Fred's Keep, those are mobs! Oh, just what we needed. Find me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go! Mobs don't stand a chance. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, if you want to be stuck down here. I know! But if I do that, it'll let everyone get through the portal safe and sound! Raynor, that's brilliant! Thanks, Jesse. No way! That is the worst plan. The worst! No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around! He'd get left behind! The Enderman is after me! I can buy you time! You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Go for it, Radar. I'll see you topside. Come and get some of this! Oh yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, kid, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. portals ever I'm with the llama <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. We'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that? Beacon Town. were over I was content to let life pass me by that is until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye they said Jack do you think you can give me a hand for mine is trapped in a glove from the sea I thought I had left the seas behind but the seas came a calling for me It's a lonely road for a hero The road is a bittersweet friend For the road is cold and it's hollow But it's all you'll have left in the end Sure there is glory In my tragic backstory But that is not why I'm small For nothing built shoulders like regrets big as bull as sure as the grief takes its toll I'm thankful my arms are so ripped Or I'd been crushed from the start And I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked 
to hold the pain of my broken heart. My friends' faces, they'll never leave me, so I wrote them this sad serenade. For the curse of a memory that's perfect is that those faces, they'll never fade. Listen, my eye. <clears throat> it's a lonely road for a hero, but I won't be alone at its end. For I will wait in the shallows until we meet again. Until we meet again. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? 